What's up guys? My name is Stan Mitchell and today's video is going to be about Sam Walton and his book Made in America. Sam Walton, as many of you probably know, is the founder of Walmart and while uh, I know Walmart's not necessarily one of the most popular companies right now in America, uh, I thought we would not talk about the politics of that right now and discuss the the man who founded Walmart, who treated his employees far different than they're treated today, and I think uh, he saw customers differently, but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. Uh, this video is about motivation and persistence, which by the way is going to be the theme for all my future videos, so if you enjoy uh, videos about motivation and persistence, please subscribe and um, follow me. So, um, so anyway, so let's get into it. So, Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, all of this information I'll be going over is from his book, Made in America. Uh, one of the things that you find out real quickly about Sam Walton from the very beginning of the story is that uh, Sam Walton was a very passionate, motivated individual. In fact, he says at one point that, uh, quote, I have always pursued everything I was interested in with a true passion, some would say an obsession to win. I've always held the bar pretty high for myself. I've set extremely high personal goals. Uh, and as I go through a little bit of his story, you're going to see that that's absolutely the case. Uh, even in childhood, Sam Walton became an Eagle Scout at the age of 13, which is, for those who know anything about Boy Scouts, you know that's no joke. It usually takes until you're 17 or 18 to achieve that. He achieved it at the age of 13, and he was the youngest Eagle Scout in the history of Missouri which at the time was the record. Uh, one of the other things he mentions early in his book is that uh, he's always had a strong bias toward action. Instead of getting stuck in planning, uh, Sam Walton believed in just getting into it and uh, making something happen. He didn't believe in allowing planning to turn into procrastination. Uh, one of the other big things he talks about in his book is he always expected to win. He uh, Actually, even in high school, they uh, he was five foot nine and wasn't that good at sports. But his senior year, they uh, kind of drafted him, as he said, to become guard for the uh, basketball team. Uh, and that year, they actually went to the state uh, championship and they won uh, while he was playing guard. He said that uh, he didn't think he was very good, but he was good at motivating the team. He was good at passing. Uh, also, he um, while a senior was um, he had to play football, but his senior year they asked him to play football. He became the quarterback, and that team went undefeated, and he um, they actually went to the state championship. They won that as well. And the most interesting thing of those two things is that Sam Walton, who is a senior, he won the football championship, he won the basketball championship, and yet he's like the most humble guy. If you read his book, page 13, he talks about that uh, he couldn't shoot very well. He he constantly puts himself down. He says he wasn't fast on the football field. He said that sometimes he would fall even when no one was around. He was kind of shifty, but that he was so shifty that sometimes he would fall down. So he's very humble and almost demeaning to himself. And it's really crazy reading this book from the 80s when I think about how players today, had they won a uh, basketball championship and a uh, state championship in football, you know, they'd be wanting to go to a uh, D1 school full scholarship. They'd be very entitled. They would think they were the best at everything and that they didn't have to work hard. Sam Walton wasn't that way at all. Um, uh, moving on, he talks about he always dreamed big. In fact, he said that he once dreamed of uh, even becoming president. So skipping forward in the book, I want to keep this video short. At the age of 27, he bought a small little retail store for $25,000. He paid five thousand of his own money. He borrowed twenty thousand from his father-in-law. He, uh, but even then, with a small store in a very small town, he had a huge goal. And his goal was he wanted that little store in Newport uh, to be the most profitable small retail store in Arkansas within five years. And this wasn't even a very good store. In fact, once he started, he realized that the store only had seventy-two thousand a year in sales. He he had assumed or thought it was higher than that. And he also learned that the uh, competitor across the street had more than double his sales, 150000 a year, and it was well managed by its owner. Uh, so he immediately realized that 
at the age of 27, he was in trouble with this little store and the money he had borrowed from his uh, father-in-law. Um, but he talks about in the book that they worked super hard. He tried lots of things. Uh, we mentioned earlier he was a man with a bias toward action. He wasn't big on um, uh, planning. He tried everything. He even put a popcorn machine out front. Uh, he did everything he could to get customers in. And even in that first year, he took a store that was at uh, 72000 a year. He brought it up to 105000 uh, that's the first year. The second year, he got it up to 140,000, and then the third year, it was up to 175,000. Now, the thing I took from that is the whole bloom where you're planted. I know a lot of us sometimes we're not in the city we want, we're not in the job we want, and we think it, the grass is greener on the other side. And I think Sam Walton's story is proof that that's not necessarily the case. We can all push harder, try harder. Uh, do better where we are, and we could probably achieve a lot more success than we can even possibly imagine. Um, now, Sam's story takes a huge turn in its fifth year of owning the store. He has he faces a huge setback, and I need to set this up real quickly. Uh, by his fifth year, that little store that had started out with seventy-two thousand, he had gotten it up to two hundred and fifty thousand a year. He felt very established in this small town. He was a deacon at his church. He was active in the Rotary Club, and he had even become president of the Newport Chamber of Commerce. So he's really established in his town. He's doing well, and then he finds out that um, this store, which is the most successful store in a six-state region, uh, the 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 uh, landlord would not renew his lease. So the landlord wanted to take over the store and give it to his son. So obviously Sam Walton is devastated. Uh, about having to start over. There's an entire paragraph that talks about how devastated he is, and he and his wife are trying to figure out what to do. They've got four kids. They do not want to start over, but after talking it over and thinking it over, they decide they'll move somewhere else. There wasn't room in that town for another store, so they decide to find a new town, start from scratch at the age of 32. And I think all of us would, if we're honest, would say that, you know, I'm not sure how many of us would have done that after. Uh, starting from scratch uh, after being so devastated that they didn't read a lease uh, very well uh, when they were new. But Sam started from scratch. Uh, we know how that story ends. He ends up becoming a billionaire. He creates one of the largest retail companies in the world. And uh, to me, that is just so motivating because I don't think there are many of us who would have taken, uh, would have taken a hit like that and gotten back up, started from scratch, and, and achieved what he achieved. So in summary, let me hit these points again. These are just a few things I took from the book. Uh, Sam Walton, he pursued things with a true passion or even an obsession to win. He had a strong bias toward action. Uh, he expected to win. He was humble. He dreamed big. Uh, he didn't ever give up, uh, even if he had to start over from scratch. That's what he was willing to do. Uh, so super motivating story. Um, if you haven't read the book, Check it out. Sam Walton, Made in America. And again, from this point on, I'll try to do uh, more videos uh, on a more regular basis. And they will be ba they will be uh, on the theme of motivation and persistence. So please subscribe. I think I have all of like 14 subscribers. So I'm sure one of them is my mom. Probably got a couple cousins in there. So guys, please subscribe. It will uh, motivate me to make more videos. Hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment. You can email me. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.